There are four fundamental forces in nature that govern the workings of the universe. From something as simple as someone playing basketball to the complexity of launching a rocket into space. If we were to categorize all the forces we experience daily, they would fall under these four. Gravitational force, weak nuclear force, electromagnetic force, and strong nuclear force. Despite our extensive understanding of these forces, certain phenomena in the universe remain unexplained. So grab your favorite hot drink and let's dive into today's topic to uncover the mystery of the fifth force of nature and the experiment that hints at its existence. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Let's jump straight in. Let me give you a quick scientific overview to set the stage for our discussion. From the 1930s to the present day, thousands of physicists and chemists have worked tirelessly to develop groundbreaking theories and discoveries to unravel the fundamental structure of matter. Through these efforts, we now understand that everything in the universe is composed of a small number of fundamental building blocks, known as elementary particles, governed by four fundamental forces. Scientists' most refined attempt to unify these particles and forces is the standard model of particle physics, developed in the early 1970s. The standard model has been remarkably successful, accurately explaining nearly all experimental results and predicting a wide range of phenomena. Over time, through countless experiments, the standard model has become one of the most rigorously tested theories in physics. Think of the standard model as akin to the periodic table of elements, but with one key difference. Instead of being a simple table, it is a set of mathematical formulas and measurements describing the fundamental particles and their interactions. The standard model is divided into two main sections. Particles that make up matter. Particles that carry the fundamental forces of nature. Since elementary particles are the basic building blocks of matter, let's start with the fermions, which are categorized into two groups. Quarks, leptons, the fermions, matter's building blocks. Fermions are further classified into three generations, where particles in the first generation are the lightest and most stable, while heavier, less stable particles belong to the second and third generations. In the quark category, there are six particles, up, down, charm, strange, top, bottom. Quarks are the fundamental constituents of protons and neutrons making them the smallest known particles to date. Moving to the lepton category, we also have six particles, electron, electron neutrino, muon, muon neutrino, tau, tau neutrino. Electrons, as you know, orbit the nucleus of an atom, while neutrinos and muons are produced during processes such as nuclear fusion in the course of stars, like our sun, or when cosmic rays collide with atmospheric atoms on Earth. Now that we've covered the particles that make up matter, let's explore the particles responsible for carrying the fundamental forces. These particles are known as bosons, and there are 13 in total, eight types of gluons, which mediate the strong nuclear force. The photon, which carries the electromagnetic force, like light, W bosons, Z boson, associated with the weak nuclear force. In total, the standard model initially included 24 fundamental particles across these categories until it predicted the existence of a final particle, the Higgs boson, often referred to as the God particle. With the discovery of the Higgs boson, the standard model now comprises 25 distinct fundamental particles. So, what does all this have to do with today's topic? Hold on, my friend. I'm building this up step by step. Would you prefer I rush through and leave you confused about the whole topic? Certainly not. Here's the thing. Those 25 particles we just discussed are all governed by the four fundamental forces of nature, gravity. The one we all know about, thanks to Newton's famous apple story. The weak nuclear force. Stronger than gravity and responsible for what's called weak nuclear interactions. This force governs the decay of subatomic particles such as when a neutron decays into a proton with the help of a neutrino that itself transforms into an electron. This interaction only happens when subatomic particles, like protons, neutrons, and electrons, are extremely close to each other. 
at a distance roughly 100th the diameter of a proton. Electromagnetic force. A blend of electric and magnetic forces. This includes phenomena like light, radio waves, and X-rays. The strong nuclear force. The most powerful force in the universe which binds elementary particles together to form larger ones. It holds quarks together to form protons and neutrons and ensures that protons and neutrons remain tightly bound within the nucleus of an atom. Without this force, you might wonder, are these really the only forces of nature? In our daily lives, we experience so many other forces, friction, muscle power, or even the forces between molecules, like van der Waals forces. How do those fit in? The truth is, you're absolutely right. In our everyday world, we encounter countless forces. However, all these forces fall under what scientists call emergent forces. In simpler terms, emergent forces are derived from the four fundamental forces. This means the four fundamental forces are considered fundamental because they cannot be reduced to anything simpler, or at least we haven't found a way to do so yet. Now, let's dig a little deeper. While we classify gravity as a fundamental force, some scientists, including Albert Einstein, have suggested otherwise. Einstein believed that gravity isn't a force in the traditional sense, but rather a result of curved spacetime. To describe the four fundamental forces accurately, it might be better to call them the four fundamental interactions rather than forces. This is because what physicists refer to as forces aren't precisely forces in the conventional sense. For example, the electromagnetic force is mediated by photons, which are its exchange particles or force carriers. The strong nuclear force is mediated by gluons, which stabilize and hold quarks together to form protons and neutrons. These exchange particles, part of the boson family, are responsible for transmitting forces within the standard model framework as for the particles responsible for carrying the weak nuclear force, they are W and Z bosons. These bosons mediate weak interactions, enabling processes like particle decay. For gravity, the hypothetical particle responsible for mediating it is known as the graviton, which plays a role in shaping spacetime. Although it remains purely theoretical within the standard model of particle physics, despite the significance of these four forces, Physicists continue to treat gravity as a force, and here's where things get interesting. The possibility of a fifth force in nature. If such a force exists, discovering it is exceptionally challenging. Its effects might only be detectable over long distances. Hidden within cosmology and astrophysics, possibly as an aspect of dark matter, which interacts subtly with ordinary matter and is sometimes considered an extension of gravity. Alternatively, it could be linked to dark energy, responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe, where its effects could appear as anomalies in subatomic processes. For instance, an anomaly in nuclear transitions has led scientists to propose the existence of a particle called X-17, which might be evidence of this mysterious force. Another groundbreaking experiment supporting the existence of a fifth force was conducted by 181 researchers from 33 institutions in seven countries at the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory, Fermilab, in Illinois, USA. This experiment, known as Muon G2, pronounced G-2, measured the anomalous magnetic dipole moment of the muon. The first results, published on April 7, 2021, revealed discrepancies between theoretical predictions and experimental observations suggesting a potential fifth force. However, the evidence wasn't strong enough to be definitive. On August 11, 2023, after analyzing over three years of data, a research paper published in Physical Review Letters revealed even more surprising results, hinting strongly at the fifth force. In this experiment, muons were cooled to near-absolute zero temperatures, then accelerated to nearly the speed of light in a donut-shaped particle accelerator. These moons, which behave like tiny magnets, were subjected to a magnetic field. The unexpected finding? The oscillation frequency of the muons under the magnetic field didn't match predictions based on the standard model. According to Brendan Casey, 
lead scientist at Fermilab. We're looking for signs that the muon interacts with something unknown. This could be anything, new particles, new forces, or even extra dimensions in space-time. The research team at Fermilab expects to have all the necessary data by 2025, enabling them to make the most precise measurement of the muon's magnetic moment. This could provide irrefutable evidence of a fifth force in nature. So what do you think? Could the universe be this strange, hiding secrets we've yet to uncover? Will discovering the fifth force bring us closer to formulating the theory of everything, or will it remain an elusive dream? Share your thoughts in the comments, and as always, check the description for sources. See you soon with another exciting and informative video.